Hi, I'm Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. You you may notice that we're in a little bit of a different location today. Um, that's because I'm going to be setting up this little grow tent for my cuttings. I've been noticing that in the outdoor greenhouse, it does get a little bit colder at night this time of year. And for some reason, like everything that has roots and is established is still growing and it's doing well, but cuttings are not doing well at all. So I'm just going to do my propagations in the house for the winter. I already had this little um, zip up grow tent thing. I think my husband said that he had it for like a experiment he did in when he was in school or something. So it's, I think they're pretty easy to find though, like at hardware stores and whatnot. So I'm just gonna be rigging it up with some lights and fans and stuff and putting some cuttings in it. So I thought I would just, I thought I would show you. Okay, so I'm trying to decide if I want it facing south or facing west. I feel like I think I want it facing west. Oh, there it goes. My little rolling cart just rolled across the room. Tell me you live in an old house without telling me you live in an old house. <laughs> okay, so I've decided that I want it facing west. And I'm gonna put this little boot tray under it so I don't get water on the hardwood floor. just the grow lights that I use for all of the stuff I set up in my house so like my Ikea cabinets my rattan shelf I always use these and my plants love them they're just like inexpensive Amazon lights too and I will link them work.
tie all those down. Okay, now we should make sure they work. And these come with this red double sticky tape and this stuff is really strong. I have never had anything fall down with this stuff. See, I can't get my fingers off of the sides.
yeah, it's not on there perfectly straight, but uh, yeah, it's gonna work. Okay, I wanted to avoid getting my head in here. I'm afraid I'll accidentally suffocate or something, but I am going to have to. Oh, I lived. Okay, now the lights are in. Okay, so I went with this fan this time. I'll link it also. Um, just because I'm not going to have this in here all the time. So I didn't want another set of computer fans. I wanted something that I would be able to reuse. So I could just use this as like a little desk fan or whatever. It's really cute. It's got kind of like a retro look and it was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like $18. But, you know, we'll see if it works. Tornado. Oh, speaking of, I don't know if you can see me or not right now. Speaking of tornadoes, I was trying to film this video earlier and if you live in the Midwest, you'll understand. I was trying, it's Wednesday morning and I was trying to film the video, but they were testing the tornado sirens. So I had to wait. Also, apparently tornado sirens are not just for tornadoes. They can go off during high wind advisories or something like that? Maybe not. Maybe I made that up. I don't know. I just remember talking to someone about that recently. all put together and I'm sorry about like the angle of the footage is always awkward in this room it's just a really awkward corner of an awkward house so I'm just going to fill it up with plants and that will be that Choco cutting is not looking very good. I 
I took this cutting a while back and it just hasn't rooted and isn't looking very good. So I have it in with a golden pothos, my favorite little propagation trick. And we're gonna hope for the best. that I just moved to soil. So I want those to get just a little bit established first before they go back out to the greenhouse. There we have it. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a quick little close-up tour. Okay, here, here are my elbow cuttings and a little Bob C. philodendron I'm rehabbing. Oh, and here's how these elbows are doing. Got a new leaf and can you see it? Probably not. There is a little new growth point there though. And then down here, these are all new cuttings. And then a little, probably can't see that either. Skindapsis snake scale I'm trying to, trying to rehab. And then there's my little retro fan back there. And then these are all cuttings that I potted up today and they're just well except for this one this is this is a gloriosum and you can't tell but i'm trying to rehab that too and here's my wet sticks with a hoya matilde cutting randomly and then here are just some more cuttings that i potted up so yeah this is probably gonna change a whole lot but this is just what i had and i wanted to show you what it looked like with stuff in it so, there it is. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know like the camera angles and stuff were pretty awkward and it might be a boring video to watch. I don't know. I just like watching people mess with their plants if I happen to not be messing with plants. I want something plant related to be happening at all times so yeah hopefully you enjoyed it and also like i also made this i thought it was just gonna be like kind of boring and not fun to watch but i also made this because i get a lot of messages from people about ikea cabinets um like people wanting to buy plants from my etsy shop and asking if they need an ikea cabinet to take care of the plants that they wanted to buy. And you absolutely do not need an Ikea cabinet. Um, if you're wanting like a higher humidity type of plant, like 
This setup will absolutely get the job done. It may not be as aesthetic, but I don't really feel like it looks too bad and it'll hold in the humidity and it's a little bit more accessible. So yeah, and you can have the same kind of fun with plants in one of these as you can with an Ikea cabinet. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed watching it and I will see you again soon. Also, like even if you do happen to have like the money laying around to buy an Ikea cabinet, good luck finding one because <laughs> they're like never in stock. I feel like I walked, I signed up for stock alerts for my Mills bow like six months before I actually found it and I had to be, I was just like stalking the Ikea website and they are hard to get your hands on. So these are not i think this well this was in my in-laws attic so thank you favorite mother-in-law if you happen to be watching this these are like these are easy to find and yeah i'm done talking now <laughs>